No, I've got to check out. Something's come up. Yeah, and I know I still owe you that 50 from the card game. No? No! Oh, I've got to go. I will be back, mate. Did you get the phone? No. I can't find the owner anywhere. Drunk old bastard's probably passed out in a ditch somewhere. I need that phone. The radio's reporting a weather balloon crashing. We both heard those jets and the explosion. I think the PM is leaning on my director pretty hard. If he's flying jets over Canadian airspace, where does he draw the line? Look, there's one other place we can try. Okay, let's go. The armory? Seriously? Yeah, what's, what's the problem? It's a known location. Anyone with half a brain would come looking for you here. Well, well, maybe they don't think I'm that stupid. No, they obviously don't know you like I do. You wanted to come back here? Anyway, the whole town's pretty much inside. They don't want to try anything here. Disappoint me. I thought you would have made this more of a challenge. Wait, Dre. No, you wait. Five years I've waited for this day. 
put a bullet in your head for what you did to me. Blackwater may want you alive, but you still owe me. This is impossible. You're dead. Not quite. Not yet. Good morning, British Columbia. It's 45 degrees right now, heading for a high of 57. Call me that. Don't forget you're still the fugitive, and I have a plan. Plan? The plan went to shit when half the armory fell on it. Put the distance between us and them and staying alive is the only plan we have right now. Exactly, that's twice. They've tried to have me killed. Do you think I'm going to wait patiently for the next time? The only way to stop this is to make contact with London. You make one call to your office, unregistered mobile or otherwise, they will track it and be on us in no time. That explosion wasn't meant for you, it was meant for me. You saw his reaction back there. They thought you were dead. And now they know you're alive and shooting back, where well, it makes you just as much, if not more, of a priority as me. And Kilmore tends to hold a grudge. Kilmore? Shit. I killed him. I've never actually killed anyone before. Wait, how did you know his name was Kilmore? Kilmore. Oh, he's very much alive. I shot him six times. With, I'm guessing, two twos. He's wearing Envir Gen 3 armor. All you've done is pissed off Blackwater's already unhinged attack dog. Kilmore being deployed here means the rule book is well and truly out the window. I wouldn't be so quick to put my hopes in a desk clerk four and a half thousand miles away. Oh, and I thought you didn't have a weapon. Must have slipped my mind. Yeah. I think. We should put all our cards on the table, starting with how you seem to know the inner workings of the very agency thy stars with apprehending you. It's probably easier if I show you. Pretty simple, really. I used to be a Reaper. Kilmore was my teammate. Blackwater was our unit commander. My real name is John Christie. And I know you've heard of me. Where the bloody hell is he? He'll be here. Relax. This should have been so easy. Small town, middle of nowhere. Nothing about this was easy. John ain't some street folk. Now, see, the thing is, when you were formulating that plan, I don't mean to piss on your parade, but... No, no, no. 
Fair comment, fair comment. You've seen enough shit. I mean, who's gonna forget Sierra Leone, right? Local PD? I got this. Jazz man, tracking target vehicle 12 o'clock, 7162. Jazz man, await fire command. Not interrupted, am I? Are we having fun? What have I done now? I very specifically told you not to try and take him on your own. I was using my initiative. If I had him all tied to the back of the car, you'd be throwing a party. But you don't. All you've got behind you is a trail of destruction. You do realise we need him alive, right? Draven? I get it. You need him alive. Good. So why do I feel like I need to make sure your operational effectiveness isn't being affected by your feelings towards John? My operational effectiveness is just fine. And yet here you are, empty-handed. What a bloody hell happened down there? There was a complication that I don't think any of us could have predicted. Edwina. Coltello? Yeah, she's dead. What's your point? I can assure you she is very much alive. But rest assured, she will die by my hand. How is she still alive? How is she alive? Maybe she can regen? Remember uh, Don, the intelligence guy? Oh, and there's another thing. There was a van opposite the armory. Received no damage, no broken windows, nothing. Executive order? My fault, exactly. Executive what now? The PM's personal little hit squad. They run around collecting their dry cleaning when they're not offing whoever's pissed her off that particular week. They gonna be a problem? Nah. Draven, give the van spec to Steve. Get the jazz man scanning for it. Get all the Reapers and Night Watchmen on standby for Caesar. What the hell is Caesar? Just fly the plane. Failed? What do you mean failed? Failed what? When the time comes, don't try to reason with him. He's not the same person anymore. It only ends in this. You disappoint me. I thought you would have made this more of a challenge. Draven, wait. Five years I've waited for this day. Put a bullet in your head for what you did to me. Blackwater may want you alive, but you still owe me. I don't think you've got it in you, Draven. I don't think you quite understand who I really am. <sighs> Try to stay awake. We need to get moving again soon. Yeah, my father mentioned you by name quite a few times. How'd you know him? Tom was a good man. 
pretty much kept me out of jail. What do you mean kept you out of jail? When I was a teenager, when I developed my abilities, I was uh, I was going down a road that was going to get me locked up. He got wind of me through his centre. And, uh, just helped me make sense of it all, really. Um, got me on the path that eventually led to the agency. You never spoke much about his agency work. There's not much to say, really. He'd work with us providing intel on potentially dangerous extras. Um, most of them pose more for harm to themselves than the general public. A few bad apples every now and again. So that's when the Reapers came in? Yeah. I mean, you have to remember, the, the Reapers were not what they are now. Yeah, Damon's just... Uh, Turned them into his own private army? Yeah. How did you know who I was? Did you know in the church? Yeah. Yeah, your dad was crazy proud of you. He was going on about how you're going to join the agency and end up running the whole thing one day. He was always showing me pictures from his wallet. Absolutely beaming over them. And uh, when I woke up in the church, well, there was the girl from the pictures, albeit without the smile and Putting a gun at my head. <laughs> Who killed him? I don't know. I was in the wind by that point. I heard from a mutual friend as I was getting out of France. I'm assuming it was to do with Paris. What the hell went down that day? Who really killed Annabelle then? I did. Killed her. Your dad had heard about this girl, Annabelle. Like four years old. Already demonstrating numerous abilities. And uh, he'd organised for her and her mum to fly to Paris to meet this guy who specialised in her type of abilities. What were they? I don't know, a lot of mind stuff, I think. But your dad had received intel suggesting that she was going to get kidnapped. <sighs> it's supposed to be such a simple operation. rolled in two vans. Blackwater and Kilmore were in the lead van to apprehend the kidnappers. My team were tasked with escorting Annabelle and her mum to safety. So what happened? Just chaos from the get-go. There was an explosion and my team's van went over. My entire team was dead. Blackwater kept ordering me to stay at the crash site. But I made it on foot to the rendezvous. And I saw Blackwater shoot Sarah Klein. Kilmore was dragging Annabelle into a truck. And Blackwater ordered his team to take me out. I returned fire. And hit one of Blackwater's men. But it was far too powerful. And it went straight through him and hit Annabelle. And I see her every night. She's there every time I close my eyes. And you don't know what Damon's plan was? For Annabelle, I mean. No idea. The French police turned up and, uh, well, I made a run for it. Remy Dubois was shot and killed in the car before it even stopped. And Alain Dufort got out of the car and took him on by himself. He died in the street while I ran away. 
24 hours later, the media was going with the whole gun hand Luke extra gone wild in Paris. And uh, Patricia Thornwood publicly vowed that no stone would be left unturned to bring me to justice, so I vanished. Well, we need to vanish now. Don't look, but the barman is talking about us on his phone. You too? I don't know. He's definitely talking about us. Let's just walk out calmly. If he pulls a shotgun or tries to stop us, well, then Nick happen. him. Okay. You ready? You've changed. We need to ditch that car too. Hardly an inconspicuous ride. Yeah, fair point. Show me your hands! Show me your hands! I said, show me your hands! Get down on your knees! Put your hands on your head! I am a British security service agent. I have ID. Ma'am, keep your hands where I can see them. Don't move! Yeah, keep your hands back, you see that? Okay, just do yourself a favour. Don't radio this in. On your knees! Or I'll put you down, boy! Get down! Damon, I think we got something. Go on. Alberta PD radio is on fire. A lot of talk about arresting the suspects for the Hall Point bombing and shooting. A man and a woman. Oh, yes! Where? About six miles east. Okay, get on it. I want ears on the station. Monitor all outgoing calls. Anything that comes through to the Mounties, put it straight through to me. Top man. We have him. We bloody have him. It's time. Make the call. Draven. I thought we were going to wait till we had him. He's in a bloody police cruiser on his way to the cell for the night. He's not going anywhere. No. I have meticulously planned and I have patiently waited for four years despite Thornwood's constant interference. This is my time. This is my time. Make the call. All units, this is Delta Kilo 76. Authentication code Romeo Zulu X3 
six, eight, commence Operation Caesar. One confirms all stage one objectives have been completed. All units in position for stage two. Checkmate, Patricia. Ladies and gentlemen, let me clear the gates, please. All call signs, this is Cliffhanger. I'm eyes on. Dugout is preparing to substitute team captain. And four currently warming up on the penalty spot. Walk up to cliffhanger, coming up, Sparrow ETA 60 seconds. Look, I really don't have time for this. You told me, and you have never let me down before, so don't start now. Find him and kill him. I've got another call coming in. Yes, I'm ten minutes away. Why isn't the RAF taking them out? Instructed by who exactly? Request immediate Eva! Not anymore. 